The graph shows how quantity P varies with quantity, quantity Q for a body falling vertically downwards in a uniform gravitational field with air resistance. So you imagine there's this ball falling down. But we don't know what this graph is. Okay, never mind. This ball, if you think about velocity, uh, since there's velocity down here, it is getting faster and faster. But this graph doesn't seem to have any increasing quantity. If P is velocity, why the velocity decrease one? So cannot be velocity already. So I can cancel off. It should be increasing if it's velocity. So that means it's acceleration. Okay, that's right here. Acceleration. Is it acceleration against time or acceleration against force of air resistance? If we say acceleration against time, there is air resistance, yes, but if you remember how these graphs look like, they're actually curves. You start off and you slowly decrease. Why this one is straight ah? Scratch your head. I scratch my head, you scratch your head. Hmm. What about force of air resistance? Is it possible that this is correct? Let's think about it. So if you have a ball falling, like the picture on the left, weight is pulling it down. So W equals mg. But there's also resistive force or drag force. Let's call this D for drag. Or the force of air resistance, D. Can we put together an equation for that? I think we can. Let's try uh, with Newton's second law, F equals to ma. This ball has some acceleration. Why? Because of the forces. Who contribute the forces? There's two forces. So let's add both. So weight and drag force, which is negative D. Why negative? Because one point downward, one point upwards. You choose whichever you want to be positive, the other one has to be negative. Then we have acceleration, okay, MA. Alright, we need to arrange acceleration against the other thing. Huh? So I think I'm going to put acceleration equals to weight over M minus D over M. Can simplify a bit more, because huh? weight is mg. I I just write here lah, mg cancel. Nice. So this is g minus d over m. I think we have our answer. Can you see it? If not, let's go one more step. So let's rearrange a. Express for a because a is on our y-axis. What's on our x-axis? Force of air resistance are d. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Negative one over m times d plus g. Now the reason why I write it like this is because it's a straight line equation. Y axis, X axis. Force of air resistance. Huh? Then the rest, Mx plus C. Oh. So this one is our intercept. And our gradient, let's use big M, would be this whole thing. Ah, so from this here, you can see it's a linear relationship between A and D. There is no square, nothing, so it's a straight line. And you have a negative gradient. Gradient is negative 1 over m. So it's slanting down like that. And you have an intercept. Okay, so this one confirmed. Straight line. So I think we'll go with A, because A is a better choice. B, mm, not very good, because acceleration against times typically will look something like this. It's a curve. Or sometimes they may draw like this. A bit flat in the beginning, they only curve. But not a straight line. Cannot. Okay, so I hope that's helpful in understanding the graph and how to decide which one is correct. Well, that's all for this question. I'll see you in the next one.